What's going on guys, the Inhuman Pete Town. I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. So, at this time, you're probably questioning why we're not looking at interludes. And that's actually because, well, I beat Setsubun? It beat kind of-ish. I, I got to like, uh, hold on, let me, let me just pull this up so you don't think I'm a lying sack of shit. I got to floor like 151. Uh, and that's pretty much where I wanted to stop. I didn't really give a shit. It's like, I could have gotten, uh, what do I get for the rest of this? I think I just get like, uh, hey, yeah, let's ignore that. I get some decent stuff here and a crystallized lore, but eh, I don't really think that's worth it to me. Overall, I got really what I wanted. The tickets, I got the CE, which apparently is really good. Uh, I got one of the crystallized lore. I don't give a shit about the challenge quest. But yeah, I, I did set some fun. <laughs> I'm going to be real frank with you. This... This, um... High difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Boy, do I have some words for, uh, for this event after I get done doing the whole story like I do. So... First off, I want to say there is a story to this. We will be taking a look at that. I don't really think it's anything grand or fantastical I skipped all the story as I usually do but I was basically done with this event in like three days and that's only because I procrastinated on the third day it's like I think first day I had hit let's see I think first couple hours that this event came out I was already at like floor 21 and then I just went to bed uh, let's see the next day I hit to floor 70 something I took a break, and I was waiting for all my people to come back, and then I streamed a bit of it, and I stopped at 90. It might have been 60-something I stopped at. Yeah, it was 60-something I stopped at before that, and then I got to 90, I think. It was like, I stopped at 65 or something, got to 90, because I live-streamed that, uh, which you can still see that VOD up, I think, a bit for now. I really have no control over when uh, Twitch deletes VODs anymore, I guess, because they don't... I, they don't want like whole VODs up on there anymore. So I think they have like a two week limit. So it should still be up there by the time this goes up. If you want to see that. If not, you can wait until the actual VOD hits the channel. You're not missing much. I full heartedly still support my decision to skip recording this. Because it would have dragged out the recording process for it so much longer. So I would just have been in a state of, fuck, I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to record to progress and then stop do all the shit in between, record. Because in between, all the other stuff was really boring as shit. That's a culmination of several issues I have with this event, but I'll get to those at the end. Just know, its whole difficulty thing of being a challenge quest was a complete lie. The biggest challenge of this was having enough servants to be able to get through a lot of it. Like, if you had spent all the game leveling up your servants, you were basically fucking fine. Uh, even if you slow rolled some of it, you should have been fine. But yeah, the, that was the biggest difficulty here. Because I'm going to be real with you. The, the shit was easy and there was no punishment for failure. But yeah, we'll get to that later. So for now... Hi, Blackbeard. What do you have to say? No. Alright, uh, let's see. Event quest log. Here we go. God, I think that's the boring part about this. Like, there was a boss every 10 floors, so it's like, Joy, I hope you guys like fucking 10 videos of basically nothing, because I think that's what they amounted to. All right, let's begin. Prologue to the Oni Tower. This is a tale of something that may or may not have happened. Great, I'm already invested. So, here's what we know about this latest incident. Recently, a mysterious horn duo were seen using a combination of liquor and crocodile tears to scam the staff into secretly ray-shifting them somewhere. Gee, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Took me all a two seconds to figure out who did it. 
I agree. This is shooting an Ibaraki written all over it. Sure, we don't exactly need Holmes' help to figure out the culprits this time, but that's not the real issue. The real issue is the strange signal we've been picking up from the little Japanese village they ray shifted to. After a bit of research, we figured out that it's yet another minute minute singularity. I'm guessing they ray shifted there after they caught wind of some treasure to be found. Couple of slick operators, those two. Especially that shooting doji. I could easily see them digging up, say, a holy grail. <laughs> the, the only bandits in Mount Oe. This is no time to be admiring their skills as thieves, senpai. That said, it doesn't look like this is a full-blown holy grail. I don't think there was any holy grail at all, come to think of it. We did get a reading that looked like a holy grail for just a moment, but it turned out to be more like a pile of holy grail fragments. Still, it's a fairly big pile with a lot of pure magical energy to it. I imagine that's what Shuten and Ibaraki are looking to get their hands on. Can you tell us what exactly is going on in that in that area, Acting Commander Da Vinci? I think what's more confusing about this is... Uh, I forget who told me it, but... Uh, Someone told me that, like, the events were supposed to be happening congruently with, like, the actual story. So, it's really weird that we've gone back to this, like, like, like for all intents and purposes, uh, the prologue has, for the most part, not happened. On whether or not this entire event is canon or whatever, considering it may or may not have happened. But it just feels weird that the prologue for part two has just kind of been like shoved in the sideline for most all these events that have come out. It's like, hey, uh, you haven't happened yet. Just sit over there until we need you. For right now, this is all the stuff that happened leading up to it. Even though I'm pretty sure I think for a lot of it, Kiada went on lockdown after Salem. I don't know. This is another... It's like... We already have the confusing fact of, did this happen or did it not? Is this just a story someone is telling? And on top of that, when the fuck did this take place? Like, trying to nail down when events always happen is kind of a, like, you know, up in the air, kind of hard decision to dictate. Anyways. If Shun and Ibaraki are involved, does that mean there's an alcoholic fog hanging over the place like there was during Rashomon? Well, our readings sure resemble the Rashomon mess, but things are a little different this time. Here, we're, detail we're dealing with a tower. Ugh. It's odd the thing appeared out of nowhere and we're not sure what it's for. It's not just any old tower. The heightened shape of the thing shouldn't be possible from a structural standpoint. You'll know what I mean when you see it for yourselves. At any rate, I have no idea what they're planning, but we can't risk this turning into another singularity. Vane, I need you to ray shift there yourself and handle this before that happens. Okay. That's what I'd like to hear. Of course, you won't be going alone. Given this particular location, I thought it'd be best if a Japanese servant well acquainted with its climate and culture went along with you. Fortunately, I already found one killing time in the rec room. Come on in. Shocker. <laughs> Your choice of words is a bit misleading. I was not killing time. I was quite busy sneaking up on cowardly snipers and knifing them in their backs. Before they had a chance to shoot me from their little spawn camping positions. Truly, there are a few things I enjoy more than killing spawn campers. As you can see, she's, uh, gotten really into first-person shooters. One hour time limit on gaming per day. Not to worry, Master. These games of the video are not my only means of entertaining myself. I have also been availing myself of that room's analog offerings. I speak, of course, of games where two players take turns commanding pieces on a wooden battlefield. Shogi, chess, backgammon, sves, meshrens, 41... Oh... Oh, haha, <laughs> space. I get space, mehrens, 
Space. Marines. Space Marines. 40k. I get it. They legally can't say that. That's clever. I like that joke. That's cute. Every one of these has proven to be an individual tool for sharpening my command of military tactics. Can we get back on topic now? Oh, of course. My apologies. I got a little carried away. Ahem. <clears throat> Tell me, Master, Lady Da Vinci, how may I be of service? I see. So that is what those two are up to. <laughs> Do you know them? Only by name and face. So you haven't talked to them much? Well, considering I don't have one of them. I can't tell if the audio died or... Okay, no. Just the music. Dramatic. No, I have not. They are Oni, vile creatures that, by their very nature, exist only to harm and feast on humans. However, these Oni are also servants, and each serves the same master as I. I therefore must trust them. But be that as it may, I'm afraid I have not yet had occasion, had occasion to meet them properly. Still, that is of little consequence now. If you will have me, I would be happy to join you in investigating this strange Oni tower. Oh, I almost forgot, in addition to you being Vane Izanagi's primary servant, I'd also like you to lead the other servants who will be accompanying you. Can you do that? As you wish. However, I can feel... I compelled... I feel compelled to ask. Much as I am honored to be appointed general for this mission, I wonder how it, how it is you came to choose me. Surely there is a Japanese general of far greater skill and fame than I residing here in Kialda. Yeah, I, uh, I know who you're talking about, but sending her after these two would not end at all well. Oh, Raiko. A peaceful resolution would be pretty, would be pretty much out of the question with her in charge. So I thought that since you're not a berserker, I mean, since you have a good head on your shoulders, you'd be a good choice to lead this mission. I cannot say I fully understand your reasoning, but if I am the one most suitable for this mission, I am happy to accept. However, if it is not too forward of me, there is one thing I would like to ask of you, Master. What? This will be my first mission since I was summoned to Kialda. As such, I cannot afford to fail. Even as we speak, I have been stealing myself with even greater resolve than usual. Therefore, if you do not mind, I would ask to be given an official title for this operation. A call sign, I believe, is the term. After all, a special name gives one a special sense of purpose. And it's totally not a legit excuse that, uh... And it's totally not an excuse to hide your name, even though... Stupidness. Look, how long since, uh, Shimosa came out... Look, if people haven't played it by now, that's their own goddamn fault. Just fucking say all their names. Hiding it past this point is stupid. What would I like to be? An excellent question. Naturally, that would be... That is, I will be happy with anything you decide, Master. <laughs> Since it's that time of year, how about General Setsuban? I don't really know what Setsuban is. That's a Japanese thing. And, uh, seeing as I live in America, I don't know what that is. Yes, that's perfect. Isn't it a little on the nose? Indeed. It describes my position exactly. I couldn't, it could not be more perfect. As far as I am concerned, too obvious is just right. Now that I think of it, my beloved also had a wonderful second name that, ahem, <clears throat> At any rate, I am proud to accept the name you have bestowed upon me, Master. I cannot wait to begin. I am General Satsuban, and I have been charged with a critical task. I shall see the plot of these Oni, whatever it may be, foiled. Ironic considering I don't have you. Oh, that's right. This opening had two arrows to it. I forgot about that. And now we gird ourselves for battle. Our first order of business is to find this tower. Master, I shall lead the way while you...
<laughs> I don't think finding it'll be a problem. We have visual on here. Uh, we have visual on it here as well. It seems safe to assume that this is the tower in question. Our observation results say it has 100 floors. So instead of a five-story pagoda, we have a hundred-story pagoda, huh? Of course, there's no way they pulled this off with standard architectural engineering. If they tried, it would have come crashing down well before the 50th floor. Anyway, we're still analyzing it, but I'm pretty sure this tower is shooting Doji's Noble Phantasm, Multicolored Poison, Shinpin Kidoku. Kidoku? Yeah. What? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that, but I'm afraid that's the only way to explain it. After comparing our data from examining the tower to Kiata's database, according to our observational data, Shooting Doji's Noble Phantasm was the one it had the most in common with. But how can that be? That is clearly a tower, not wine. Exactly, that's the biggest head scratcher here. But once you figure that out, all the other pieces fall into place. Looking at what things are like there, I'm guessing Shooting Doji's combine Shooting Doji combined the magical energy source with her noble phantasm to build this tower. Oh well, she's here. Well, well, you figured it out already. I'm impressed. You got it. Got it in one. I made this hundred-story pagoda with my Shinpin Kidoku. I call it the Oni Pagoda. Shooting Doji. Whoa, how are you communicating with us? Are you actually projecting your image through an alcoholic fog? I've never seen that before. <laughs> how do you like that? Anything you lot can do, we can do better. But don't ask me how it works. I don't have a clue. I call it fog time. Designed by shooting in the Oni Pagoda. It has been so very shooting since its debut that people have been peeing their pants. Leave our belongings behind and we'll let you escape with your lives. Easy, Ibaraki. Slow down. You can't reveal everything right at the start. The Oni Pagoda. So that is w this tower's name. Why did you make this thing? You want to know why? I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out if you make it to the top. This probably goes without saying, but that's where you'll find us, too. Don't get lost on the way here. All right, sweetie. That explains nothing, shootin'. Now that Master has given me the role of General Setsubon, I wish to know the ultimate goal of your scheme. If you would rather not tell me, then no matter. Is that so? I had a feeling you'd be showing up. Interesting title you've got there, too. Now that you mention it, it is that time of the year, isn't it? What time of the year? Setsuban, of course. That's a good reason as any for me to have built this tower. What nonsense is this? Are you only completely unaware of logic and the natural order of things? Maybe. When two armies are about to engage in combat, it is incum incumbent? Upon them to face one another and declare their reasons for going into battle. Have you no decency at all? What army ever does that? There is no point in explaining the rules of warfare to an insect general. The only way to handle such a creature is to squash them like this. Oh joy. Lady Minamoto no Raiko? <laughs> right. Of course you'd show up. Oh, why do you look so terrified? It's me, your Raiko, the dependable Oni exterminator, the warrior as devoted to you as a mother is to her children. That's what worries me. So please relax, you have nothing to worry about. All you need to do is give me the order to eradicate those insects. Go on. Yep, there it is. She's going full. Kishimonjin? I don't know what that means. Right out of the gate. Sorry about this, I did manage to convince her not to lead this expedition. But I couldn't come up with a good reason for her to not join the rest of the servants accompanying you. 
Right, plus she is a tremendous asset in combat. So you're here too, huh? I couldn't care less about what? Couldn't care less about you myself. But if there's one thing my tower doesn't need, it's a woman who's too uptight to have fun. I always knew you to be an insect lurking in Kialda's shadow, but I believe you might st might still serve a purpose, even if only as a pawn to sacrifice. But if you have begun to wreak havoc outside Kialda's walls, then you leave me no choice. No choice at all. I will execute you swiftly and mercilessly. I always wondered when you would show your true colors. Now at last my patience has been rewarded. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean... You think I rejoice at the thought that I finally have a proper reason to rid myself of an irritating bug? N nothing could be further from the truth. Putting her aside for her aside for now, let me just tell you this. This hundred-story Oni pe Pagoda here is, well, wine. It might be a giant tower, but it's still wine at its heart. What do you mean by that? It doesn't matter how well you can hold your liquor, sweetie. Drink enough wine, and anyone will get drunk. So you might find yourself getting a little tipsy each time you reach a new floor. Oh, that might explain my that might explain my migraines as I kept going through it, boredom seeping in with every floor. Come up, enjoy yourselves along the way, and don't forget to play with the other Oni while you're at it. Other Oni? You mean there are Oni in this tower besides the two of you? Hope you're in the mood for some Satsuban fun. It's not healthy for anyone to be stuck inside all the time, so why don't you all come up and join me for some fun times? Foo 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 foo. Oh, are you doing the fadeaway laugh thing? I only do it too! I've so got this! As a terrifying Oni leader, I've never neglected to practice my haughty laugh! Here goes! Mwahahahaha! <laughs> Blip. I see those two haven't changed a bit. Still, I am curious about what she told us. Namely, that you will become intoxicated with every floor you ascend, and that there might be other Oni present as well. You mustn't take bugs at their word, Mash. You would be a perfect little girl if only you weren't always so serious. Shinpin Kidoku originally belonged to me. Rest assured, we have nothing to fear from this tower. Furthermore, following a path uh, following a path Oni have laid out for us is out of the question. There is no telling what sort of nasty traps they may have put in, the, in place. We must, be, uh, we must be smart about this. Meaning? Meaning I will just scale the tower and kill them myself right now, okay? L Lady Raiko, please wait! We're being a bit hasty. We should wait for Master's orders. Damn, is she really planning on running straight up all 100 floors? So much for being smart about this. She's going full berserker today, huh? Oh my, look how far up she uh, is already gone. There's no stopping her. <laughs> Can't even see her any... I found her. Uh, L Lady Raiko. When did it start raining Raiko? I'll run a medical checkup on her right away. What's this? Her spirit core hasn't been damaged directly, but... It's as though her magical energy is running low. Like it's stagnating somehow. Basically, she seems to be suffering from extreme exhaustion. Oh my god, how long is this going to go on for? You again. You know, Oni, just when you think we're gone, we pop right back up. I forgot to mention something. There's no way I was ever going to let you climb up the outside of this tower after all the trouble I went to make it. And that's why I set, set it up so that climbing or flying up to the top will get you really tipsy. So make sure you come up one floor at a time, nice and proper now you hear. So that is your idea of tipsy, huh? Getting lightheaded, losing your sense of balance, 
Sounds more like completely smashed to me. Sorry I couldn't make it the fun kind of tipsy. These things happen when you go and turn your wine into a tower. But don't worry, it's not so bad as long as you make your way up the inside. Sure, it might wear you out a bit, but you'll probably be fine as long as you rest up and take turns along the way. Okay then, we'll be taking it nice and easy on the top, waiting for you to show up. Wahahaha. -ha -ha. I believe that should be enough laughter for now. I'm getting rather tired. I must say though, shooting, do you not find it wasteful to use your delicious wine on such frivolity? I may not be as strong as you, but I can still hold my liquor quite well, you know. If you simply wanted someone to drink with, surely you and I could have sufficed. So it looks like Raiko's current state is a result of her breaking the rule not to climb the outer walls. What's more, it looks like there is no way to completely avoid the exhaustion even inside the tower. And we won't be able to determine exactly how intoxicated or exhausted you'll get in there until you actually start climbing. So if you want to clear this tower as quickly as possible, you'll probably need to switch out your tired fighters for fresh ones as you go along. If worse comes to worse, we might even need to draw on Kiata's entire servant pool, which I did. Only once though, ironically, I got tired through most of the other times. Wine. Why did it have to be wine? What's with the sign? N no, of course not. I will simply do the best I can under the circumstances. Now, Master, let us begin. This will be our magnificent first step towards conquering this Oni Tower. My spirits are high and my preparations are complete. There is nothing to worry about whatsoever. I shall lead by example, thus demonstrating to all who follow that General Setsubon is here. Cool. Thank you for your kind words, Master. I must confess, I get intoxicated at the faintest whiff of alcohol. But I am reasonably certain that I can... Certain I can manage as long as I keep my spirits up. I'm suddenly feeling much less reassured about this magnificent first step. <laughs> 